Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Aussie Farming in the Philippines. Well, it's Wednesday morning and it's about quarter past six. Let's check the place, girl cock. Yes, it's quarter past nearly. So, quarter, quarter past six. Wow, look at that. The day's nearly over. So much done. Right, all the animals are done, they're all fed, all watered up. All the babies in the hotels are happy, they're all singing kumbaya. So all this is going to be mowed today. All this shit here. So the idea is get the animals done first. Oh, fucking scare the shit out of me, you bastard. Bastard! Right. So, getting all the feed done in here, I noticed I checked Chick's corn. Not much. So she, she probably won't have enough for today. So what I'll do is, where's my corn one? Here, yeah, corny bitch, you go fucking corny. So what I do is, this is already, I've already done this the first, first hit like this. So I put that then through the tight one, tighten her up, tighten her up Gus, hey, tighten her up, stick another stitch in for me. And um, we come out with a beautiful powder like this. So um, what I'll do, it's only a quarter past, 15 minutes before Chick gets up. Oh, so let's get this done. Right, so I find it's easier that if I if I um, put this stuff here, this, this first one through into the sack, I can fill it up much, much quicker. And then once the sack's half full, I can get rid of that, and then I loosen the dial back up again, and I fill my, my bin right back up again. So first, let's get this truck out. Right, so you see we've got lots and lots of corn, heaps and heaps of corn, so... We should be going for a couple of months, which I'm very pleased on. Right, so first of all, let's get into this bit. Too much. Too much there. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect. Perfect dome. Okay, all set up now, so we think it's going to be automatically. I'm going to start to hit the top of the Right, well that, that will keep it going for a few days. I don't want to waste too much time this morning because I've got all that mowing to do and I want to get there before the heat of the day. So that's given her, that's given her about three, four days at least in there, at least. Oh, because it's coming on to, 20 to 25 to 7. So I want to get mowing done before the heat. So they'll keep it going for a few days. They'll keep it happy, happy white, happy life. Remember that, all right. That, oh, turned out perfect. So it's good having your own gear, guys, to do your own work. And you save a lot of coin. Like we buy that at um, 18 pesos a kilo. If we buy it cracked already or powdered, you're paying 35, around 35, 36 pesos a kilo. So you're saving a lot of fucking money, guys. That's what it's all about. Right, it's a big red refueled up. The cowling's all falling apart. I've repaired it so many times, even bits of wood, I just, oh, you name it, I've done. I've got bits of wood on it, bits of everything on it. But, um, I think she's taking a bit of a bash in the old girl. It's like an old tart on a Saturday morning when she wakes up. She's been stretched and benched and stitched. But, oh uh, well, it does the job, guys. It does the job. Right, I'm going to get into it now because I want to get as much done before breakfast at 8 o'clock. It's now quarter to, quarter to 7, so it should be able to get a lot done. Let's do it. Right, so lovely eye eyes arrived. The first job of the morning is make yourself a coffee and put the rice on to cook and then water the garden. So I just switched over from the house water pump to the 12 volt rainwater. It's only about two feet, three feet in the bottom, that's it. So I'm saving that just for the garden. And that's more pressure for her with those bloody hoses as well. Right, kick out, kick out, let's get going again.
Right, Tix just called me for breakfast, so it must be 8 o'clock. So it's all done around here. Happy with this. I know, I've got to do all your water bowls. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. So all through here is done nicely. Excuse me, guys. Step aside or bear a child. This feast is leaving in 10 minutes. Be on it, woman. So a lot of brush cutting to do, but that's um, easy done. We normally get Wilfredo in to do that over morning. He likes that. So we've got all this area done, all around the side, all out to the front. I just started down there, I only got one lap in when Chicks called me. So once it's all done, then just get out the blower and just blow everything away. It's back to clean again. Oh. Right, let's see what we've got going, guys. Uh, it's got roast chicken for the for the babies. God, it's late. It's five past eight already. Breakfast is normally eight o'clock. Hey guys. Yeah. Morning, babe. Hello. Morning, night. What do you got today, babe? We have leftover. I love leftovers. <laughs> Bacon uh -huh. and eggs. Bacon and eggs. Fantastic. Morning, I. Hi. Morning, chick. Morning. You know, because I don't live here in the house, I just got to say hello whenever I see them on camera. <laughs> All right, let's do it, baby doll. Now they got it all finished. Bloody big red went down again. Come ripping down this bloody hill here. Come ripping down into here. And the drive, the drive on the belts. Nothing. It's like, but I got, got 99% of it all done through here. So it's just this little bit here I missed out on. And of course the front. Fuck my dog. Well, it's not too bad because we got new, new belts for her. For big red, we got some new belts. And uh, these are the ones that have got, um, what's it, they're not smooth on both sides. The inside's got like little castle indents on them so they can bend. Because they, they go to the right, they go to the left, they go to the right, they go to the left. So they bend both ways. They bend both ways, hey, how does that sound, Stacey? Hey, what do you got, I? Is that Difa? Here, give him his collar back. See if you can put that on him. Uh, Difa's flea collar. See if you can put this on him, please. I. Oh, he gets all the chicken bones. Oh, he's a lucky bastard. Thank you, I. Oh, well, I'll get out the blower anyway and blow everything down. And uh, I've got to get it poisoned on the side of the paths. Put some more chemicals down to get the trolls going. But um, I don't know what's, I don't know what's happened under here because. Uh, hey. It's just loose as shit. It's got me fucked. It's got me fucked. Like I say, even when you, you want to put it under tension. Uh, oh, I see. I see. Oh, no, don't, don't tell me. That's broken again. Ah, dud. All oh, right. Okay, I've ordered one of these before. Uh-huh, so that's why. But um, the thing with this, you have to get up underneath here with these screws up in here. 
it's a bit of a bitch to do and there's two different models so um, I've got to make, I have to take it off to make sure because I can't remember if I ordered this on Amazon or what if it is on Amazon it'll be in my back orders so uh, right so that's what happened the spindle on the turd cutter Bob can't fucking win can we she's a good old girl though she keeps us going got to be happy with that good old girl right go and get the blower going So that's it, everything is done. So I've rewatered all the animals again. Everyone is happy, they're all singing Kumbaya. So I've done all Mary Lou's for them as well. I cut all their grass in there. And I've also gone down their pathway, down and back. But overall it's looking good, guys. Back to a clean farm. Now I'll go and see if I can order the parts online for um, that cable. Bastard, bastard. Right, I think I found the bastard, that's him. So there's different cable eggs. There's this one that's got a hook in, and this one's got a, a bolt on. And I'm pretty sure it's this one here. So I'll pull my one off and have a look, see. I think the cheapest shit, you know, cheapest shit. I get one of these ordered today. They're easy done. The worst thing when you look at these is when you, like you look at this $14 and it looks, it's, see how much the postage are. $10 for postage. Fucking ridiculous, isn't it? But I'm pretty sure that's the one. I know this is all right through here. Yes, this is all right. I think that's it. Well, one way to look. Right, so I've confirmed that's the one for sure. All right. We'll be out of action for two weeks, but who cares? We've just mowed everything down, so let's move on, build a bridge, get over it. Right, so last job for the day. All right. So what I've got to do now is we've got the, got the two screen doors back from the front. They shorten them up half an inch on the bottom and uh, it works quite well. They put all new screens on the top here, nice black ones with the um, the mesh, because little dog screws the shit out of it again. So that's all done now, no problem, but this bottom one's not locked in. I have to drill a hole and put a plate there and lock it in. So it locks in from the top okay, but the bottom one's not locked in. So I'm gonna put him in his harness. So that's why I've got to put the door, the little childproof door against here to stop him biting. He's already wrecked all those ones outside we just replaced already. Little bastard. Still, gotta love him, don't you? Right, last job, let's do it. So the top one locks in okay, because that's originally no problem at all. Done, but the bottom one, of course, William has replaced it all. Fuck, you did a great job, mate. Thanks, mate. So now I've got to put this one in, drill a hole and put a plate through it. So it's not hard. So we've got a plate here, we've got some volunteers to go in, and this will be all right. Ah, get the little doggy out of there. All right, well that turned out easier than I thought, because it goes right through the strip, the aluminium strip, so I don't have to put one of these down into it at all. And uh, it ended up being easier than I thought, just a matter of drilling. Drilling a little bugger. All right. All right. Rubber's not lining up now. Okay, that got it. So the rubber moved a little bit, but it's okay. Get that. Oh, who's your daddy now, bitch? Who's your daddy? See, things just get easier and easier, guys. I tell you, easier and easier. Right, another ka-ching. Another job done. Right, guys, so that's it. That's enough for us today. We've got to shower and change, go to Mama's place. She's got problems with her doorbell that's for a shop that runs inside from the front window of a shop to the house so it's coming on to 10 so we're going to share and change and head into mama's place see what we can do there right guys so we're at um it's mama's place so we can get rid of this now poor poor get rid of that go on bang so mama's little doorbell wasn't working so I pulled it off to have a look for see. We brought, brought a whole heap of triple A's and double A's with us. And um, look at the size of the bastard. Seriously. 
seriously. Oh well, not to worry. We'll work it out. I'll have a look online and see if I can get them online. But if not, we're going into town on Friday anyway. Look how small that bastard is, would you? So what it is, they push the button there and inside the house will ring for her. Which she has customers. <laughs> bastard. Bastard! Okay, so we've got three. And there's some eggs that I've put in. Some eggs that I've put in the, um, underneath the turkey. So she settles down, she's very stressed out with that. Very stressed out. What's the life on the farm, guys? Fucking snakes. Bastards. Well, look, what I'll do with them is um, I'll give them a couple of days to settle down, then they can go into the into the duck tractor. And they can live happily ever after in there.